Hello everyone, Sol here again for Tasty Records, coming at you with a very special anticipated video for me, uh, for me anyway. Uh, this is uh, an unboxing video, uh, very similar to the ilk of the most popular video on this channel right now, which is the Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary box set, which came out last year. Now, they've done another 50th Anniversary release, uh, which is this beautiful kind of picture disc UV, I'm not entirely sure what the kind of the the deal is really uv printed art on clear vinyl so it's not even a picture disc it's on clear vinyl and it's over two discs to really kind of show off the you know really nice art on there i'm really excited to crack this open and have a look so without further ado should we go over to the tasty records photo studio and we'll uh check this one out so here we are at the tasty records photo studio um it's been a while since we used this setup, but um, here it is. Here's the new Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, nice little, not box set, but commemorative edition, I'd say. So should we uh, have a look at the hype sticker here for, for starters? Uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition. UV printed art on clear vinyl. Interesting. 50 years in a heartbeat with the logo. The 50 Years Dark Side of the Moon logo. Uh, Pink Floyd Records, playable on side A only. Two discs. Interesting. I think that means, so that means it's only playable on one side of each disc and the other side is going to be reserved for the art, which is very nice. Uh, on the back, we've got the kind of classic triangle from the original label. All the track listings, record one, record two. And then you've got the, uh, ooh, if I can get it in there. You've got all the musicians there. Um, Oh, and what they played. David Gilmore playing this, guitars and VCS3. VCS3. Nick Mason, Roger Waters and Richard Wright. Very interesting. Um, no production credit on here, but um, very interesting anyway. Um, so I got uh, a few kind of bad comments on how I opened the last one. So I don't think it's wise I use a knife because I might get... Um, shunned to the end of the earth and it's a difficult one to open because you can't really rub it against your although maybe you can does anyone know about the trick of, of jeans there we go so if you see that plastic's been loosened so we're just going to kind of open this up i think take it off nice black album sleeve so you can see my reflection in it and i'll reserve the hype sticker for later as i always do so I'm very excited for this, honestly. So it's like a, um, it's like a, a, full, a slip case. This is, which kind of holds the album cover inside. And there we go. Interesting. So that's like, as you can see there, it's just a flip, slip case there. Nice spine. We didn't see the spine before. I uh, forgot to mention that one. 50th anniversary collector's edition with the catalogue number. Same thing on both sides. So this is um, not a kind of... The other ones are very like velvet, the original reissues or the reissues which have come out recently on 180 gram. And um, this is kind of a matte kind of... You can see it there, just a regular kind of matte album sleeve. Um, and obviously it's very similar to the originals, even down to the no barcode on the back because it's reserved for the hype sticker on there. Uh, so I'm guessing this is going to be kind of exactly the same as the regular, there we go, it's exactly the same as the regular um, album sleeve. But this is the part we're all waiting for. Oh, it comes with the poster, or a poster. We'll have to have a look first before we look at the album. Oh, it's a new poster. Wow. Okay, I'll get a shot of this, um, a better shot of this on the floor so you can have a look at it. But um, yeah, very nice poster on there, kind of combining a few elements with the pyramids and such. But here you go, here's what you've all been waiting for, the new colour clear vinyl picture disc. Wow. Wow, look at that. So I love this design, you know. Again, I'll take some kind of better shots of this, but I love the kind of design of the pyramids. I love the pyramid motif in general for Dark Side of the Moon, kind of pointing to this fallen civilization. And they've even done the blue triangle there, the original blue triangle, which is really nice, on both sides there. So I think this is the side which is playable. And there you go, the original label, but um, kind of gold, for the golden anniversary. 
uh, Pink Floyd Records, not on Harvest. This is just beautiful. And clear vinyl does sound better, I think, than regular vinyl or black vinyl because they actually dye black vinyl to make it look like gramophones. They've done that since like the 40s and 50s. So I think clear vinyl is closer to the original kind of the original, well, the um, what what vinyl is usually like a milky clear colour. So it's it's almost more natural and clear. Uh, no other poster in there, just that one poster, so you don't get the original posters or stickers in here. Um, here's the other one. Wow, with the heartbeat around the outside there. Lovely kind of colour on there, um, really nicely done. And again, another really nice pyramid motif there. Record 2. So this will have the second side on here. Similar label, gold. Very, very nice. And um, they come in these black polylined inner sleeves which is nice to see. It would have been cool to see them in um, kind of archival clear sleeves because then you could really show off the coloured, uh, the picture vinyl um, in all its glory but I'm, I'm glad they included these sleeves because it will keep them very safe. Um, and I think that's about it guys really, there's, there's not that much in there, there's no other posters in here, there's no other stickers in here, there's no essays, no booklets to go through. Might be a bit shorter than the last one but uh, should we take this video elsewhere and we'll kind of chat about the contents in more detail. Okay guys and we're back. Um, so in conclusion or in review of this new kind of commemorative edition I'd say it's you know obviously quite a step down from the big box that we did the, uh, the video on which had kind of the live album, the regular album, loads of CDs, Blu-rays, posters, the music book. <laughs> And this is obviously a bit more affordable, but it's not super cheap when it comes to the retail price of this. Um, it's it's going to retail about £60 in the shop, and we have had people asking for it, we've had reserves on this, and the Dark Side of the Moon collectors really want it. It comes with, a, obviously, this really nice kind of, um, you know, glossy, uh, glossy text uh, black slip case which is unique to this edition and obviously the poster is a really nice unique edition as well um, and of course you know the, the beautiful pictured um, you know picture sleeve or picture discs um, but I'd say it's it's not the definitive version of Dark Side of the Moon you know in by any means um, if you're gonna you know buy a, a copy of this um, I'd say that it's definitely for the collectors and I'm thinking it will go up in value in the future. Uh, the original box set is way, uh, the box that we did last year has sold out now the distributors. It's a little bit harder to come by. It's still a beautiful kind of box set experience, you know, to unbox it and to kind of have it um, if you're a massive fan of this album. And I'd say this is just another kind of addition to that, you know, it's a beautiful coloured vinyl version. Um, would it be better if this version was included in the box set instead of the black vinyl version we had? That might be a nice bonus. Um, maybe they, you know, didn't think about that, or maybe potentially more cynically, they thought we'd wait a year to release this to the 51st anniversary of the album. Uh, overall, it's a nice kind of collection, um, a nice kind of set. I really, really like it. Um, I love the clear vinyl because obviously I think it sounds really good, and I think that the picture they've used is really artistic. I love, like I say, the, the pyramid motif. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, if you're a Dark Side of the Moon collector or a Pink Floyd collector or a collector of classic albums in general, you know, this is really worth picking up. But um, if you have any thoughts yourself, um, please drop them in the comments below. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you've not watched the original box set and the unboxing video, which has got near 100,000 views at the moment, um, check it out. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.